Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here. In this uh, first lecture, I have to speak about uh, what is uh, VRRP. So why we really need to have VRRP on Microtech routers. Now, VRRP comes under the umbrella of what we call the FHRP, which is First Hop Redundancy Protocol. All right, because uh, we can see that uh, in some other brands, we have uh, the same function of VRRP, which is something else. Like on Cisco, you have HSRP, which is similar to VRRP, which has the same function, but the, it's uh, another protocol that you have to configure it. And it is Cisco proprietary. You have GLBP also. On Microtech, we do have only VRRP. So what is VRRP and what is the function of VRRP? If we have this scenario, we have a computer connected to a switch and uh, this switch is connected to the router and the router is connected to the internet. This is normally what we have in our network. So for this reason, in case the computer wants to go to the internet, he has to send to his gateway, which is in this case, the IP, which is on the inside interface of this router. This is the gateway. And then he can go to the internet. All right. That's what we have normally. Now in the big networks, Having something like this without redundancy can cause a problem. What does it mean here? Let's consider that this router is powered off somehow, or it's a broken scratch, or the interface is broken. So what we will have end up that all the computers which are inside the LAN will not be able to go to the internet. So that's also another reason why we need to have a solution to have redundancy. And uh, that's something we have to think of it using the VRRP. So the main thing of VRRP is what we call it gateway redundancy. So we do have another gateway. So in case the router is broken, or we will see later also in case the internet connection is broken, even though that the router is still working here, then this can do a failover and go to another gateway. So let's see now what is the solution that we can use. So we have said that on using one router, we have one single point of failure. And in this case, if this router crash or the connection stopped or the interface has got broken or the cable or whatever, then we cannot go to the internet. So we have decided to put another router. So we have here router one and we have router two and both they are connected to the switch. So both can take us to the internet. But yeah, it is a solution here. Well, yes or not? No, let's say why it's not a solution because on uh, the PC here or on any end device, you can put only one gateway. So you cannot put, for example, this is the gateway to go to the internet. So this interface IP and this interface IP on the same PC, this doesn't work. So we have to put one gateway. So we have to choose either this router or that router. So that's, yeah, that's something we cannot uh, do it. Now, the, the, uh, I said the yes also, because we also need redundancy because we said that in case this router, something happened to this, we need that the traffic would be flowing from this router. So in this case, we can use what is called VRRP. And I'm going to explain to you what is the exact thing that VRRP can do right away. So we still have the same scenario. We said that the, the uh, we put these two routers uh, to the internet and they're both connected to the same switch where my local LAN is connected. Now what we can do, we can configure VRRP here and VRRP here on both routers. And those routers would communicate to each other after we configure and then they will create what's called a virtual router. So VRRP is virtual router redundancy protocol. So there, there, there should be here creating a virtual router, something that is virtual. And on this virtual router, we put an IP address, which is from the same range of the LAN. So which is 192.168.123. something, we put it here. And this IP address, we put it on the computer. So we put the IP address of the virtual router as a gateway actually on the computer. Then what's going to happen that VRRP would say, okay, I want this router now to be the master. So this will be passing the traffic and this will be a backup. So what's going to happen that the PC, he will be sending his traffic to the virtual router as the gateway. And then the virtual router will send it to router two, which is the master, and then it can go to the internet. Now let's consider that something happened on router two. Like I said, it could be that the router got crashed, the port had broken, the cable, or also the internet connectivity with the ISP, it got uh, broken. That's something I'm going to show you how we can configure that. Uh, to, so in case this is got broken, the, so what's gonna happen? That the PC over here, if he's sending now his traffic, so let's say that it is stopped, 
So when you send this traffic to the virtual router, then the virtual router would send it now to router three and router three will send it to the internet. So what's going to happen, it's going to be a failover. So this was the master, then this is when it stopped. Then it goes away and this one, which was the backup, it became the master. So then the traffic will be flowing from router three and it is really seamless to our uh, LAN. So no one inside the LAN can uh, see what's happening. So this is seamless. So that means that you only need to put one gateway, which is the gateway of the virtual router. And uh, this VRRP can work by itself. All right. So this is the whole idea of the VRRP. Of course, we are going to dig more into the configuration and check what things we can do inside VRRP. But if you want, I can just show you where you can find VRRP on uh, Winbox. So over here, if you go to the interface, so over here on the interface, you can see that you have the VRRP, which is over here, and there we can do the configuration. So over here, all the configuration can be done. But another way also to do it is just to click here on plus and then VRRP and then the same window will open for you. So this is what we are going to do in this lab, working on VRRP and showing to you also how you can do many things like the failover, the load balancing and much more than that. Now, this last thing to mention that VRRP is a open standard protocol. So that means if you have a Cisco router and you have a MicroTik, so that is Cisco and it is MicroTik and you are configuring VRRP on both router, this will work because it is an open standard protocol. It can work on any router brands uh, that support, of course, VRRP. All right. So that's something very important to know because Cisco, they have something called HSRP, which is similar to VRRP, but it doesn't work on uh, other brands. It's Cisco proprietary. It only works on Cisco. So that's why VRRP is uh, much better to use, especially when you have uh, in your network different uh, type of brands of routers and you want to make the gateway redundancy so you can use VRRP for this solution. So this is what I wanted to show you in this first lecture explanation about what is VRRP and where we should use it and why we need to use VRRP. Now in the upcoming lectures, I have to start building up labs and show you step by step about VRRP. I'm going to cover everything possible that you can uh, use VRRP for it. So I hope that uh, this lecture was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.